that's a way to end the ball. Yeah, that was, uh, it was, it was a good moment for a good kid, um, kind of finding his way. Um, you know, he's had some chances, get big hits here in, in his uh, brief stint as a major leaguer, and, and today he finally can say, you know, he had a moment to help us win a game. Um, you know, that guy throws hard. You know, thankfully he threw him a strike. Um, but he put a really good swing out. The ball wasn't carrying particularly well today. We had some others that got, kind of hung up out there, but that one went right through the wind. Uh, a lot of good performances, starting with Pat Dean. Um, bullpen did a nice job for the most part, and uh, at least long flight out the West Coast will be a little bit more enjoyable. The shift that Boston used against Kepler, that couldn't be intimidating, I would imagine, for a young man. Uh, you know, it's not too often, probably ever, for most of these guys where they've seen a five-man infield. Um, there's a time where it makes sense to employ it. Uh, we, I know we put it in play a couple times last year. Um, you know, they're, they're just banking on cutting off that run on the ground, and if it's in the air, there's a good chance it might score anyways if you get a little bit of depth. So. Uh, it's a sound, sound move, but it, it's not something that a hitter is accustomed to seeing. And so you probably overthink it a little bit instead of just putting a good swing on the ball. Thankfully, he did it with two strikes. How nice was it to see Dean in his six and a third? Yeah, it was, uh, it was much needed. Um, you know, we still went through a number of people there late, but um, he ate up some innings and he pitched well. You know, he had a couple walks there to start the seventh. And, uh, you know, I wanted to get him out of there on a relatively good note, um, you know, Kevin came in and got two outs, got us off the field, but then we ran into a little trouble there in the eighth. Seems like you guys started off with a very aggressive approach with Nunez right off the bat. Uh, well, you know, he's a guy who can run, uh, reads pitchers fairly well, and, you know, Porcello, he's a little bit vulnerable. Uh, the best thing he does is hold the ball, um, but we got the stolen base. The, the, the read on the ground ball is short, I thought was important. There's a lot of guys that might freeze on that ball. Uh, but he got to third with uh, less than two outs, and Joe was able to plate him. And then we took advantage of a little bit of a misplay by Bogarts, although I thought that might have been a base hit by Centeno. And then Buxton uh, put the ball in play with two strikes, not going to double him up very often. Um, so those were our first couple of runs. Well, big moment for talking there against Ortiz. You like the way he attacked that? Uh, yeah, you know, I'd, it, it's not the best matchup that you would like if you got everybody fresh. Um, I'd like to see a lefty in there, but... Uh, we kind of had to go with Tonk. Um, he reared back. You know, he threw 52 pitches two days ago, and there was a question about his availability even today. But he came in there, not only got through the inning, but he made some really quality pitches against probably the most valuable player in the league this, this far. Hey, Duffy already thrown his side? Yes. In the eighth, uh, playing, uh, playing the, to concede the run with Ortiz, playing for the tie. Yes. Is that something you would not have done if, you, if things had been going? Possibly if I had a little more depth, but at home, you know, knowing we have an extra at-bat, um, playing in with him was too, too much of a risk for me with nobody out. I was going to try to.